Today's continuing anti-racism protests include the claim that fossil fuel use is racist because climate change will hurt minorities most. Climate crisis is a racist crisis. Therefore, the fossil fuel industry will have to pay. But I wonder, have these people ever asked themselves? Can you turn your lights on in the morning? Energy journalist Robert Bryce just made this documentary about the importance of electricity, juice. Having electricity doesn't guarantee wealth, but not having it almost always means poverty. Here's our abbreviated version of his movie. Electricity has allowed people, and in particular women and girls, to escape the drudgery of past eras. It has liberated them from the pump, the stove, and the wash tub. But still today, in much of the world, millions have little access to electricity. As a result, the mothers are spending all day long just doing the basic household chores, collecting water. You don't have a fridge, so you have to cook every evening. Not only does electricity reduce labor, but also. Electricity has allowed us to conquer our oldest foe, darkness. For millennia, the cost of having well-lit spaces at night was so high that only the very rich could afford it. That's still true in much of the world. The power goes off. And I began crying constantly because there's no way I'm people finish memorizing this times table where there's no power. And when there's no power, people often heat their homes by burning things like cow dung. Every year in India, more than one million people die from indoor air pollution. That pollution's a much bigger killer than the fossil fuels American politicians complain about. There is no debate as to whether we should continue producing fossil fuels. There's no debate. No debate? But without fossil fuels, much of the world will freeze in the dark. We just don't yet have enough alternatives to gas and oil. Although one country almost does. We're here in Iceland at Gullfoss Falls. As you can see, this country has enormous hydropower potential. Iceland gets most of its power from constantly moving water. And because Iceland also has hot springs, it gets a quarter of its juice from geothermal power. So electricity is cheap there. But even in Iceland, they still burn oil. There just isn't enough renewable energy to power everything. There are over three billion people in the world today without adequate access to electricity. In order to empower the low watt world, we're going to need a lot more juice. But what about climate change? We're told we must move to renewable energy. The planet is dying and and all we need to do is spend more on researching green power. In every case where you've had massive infusions or requirements for renewable energy, you've seen costs increase. So what? The planet is dying. But it's regressive. It's going to have a bigger impact, impact on low-income and middle-income Americans. That's putting a higher tax burden on the people who can least afford it. His documentary argues that electricity matters so much, it's cruel to talk about limiting its use. This idea that there's too many people and that we all have to reduce our energy consumption. The only people in the world who say that are rich people. I've never had a small farmer tell me that there's too many people and that we consume too much. How are we going to have a population, all these bright young minds, if they're not plugged in? We have to plug them in now. Four billion people are not gonna say, we'll give up progress if it just slows global warming. Energy poverty versus climate change. There is no easy one-size-fits-all solution. The only certainty is that people will do whatever they have to do to get the electricity they need. You can now watch his entire documentary, subtitled How Electricity Explains the World, on iTunes. I hope you'll share and like this video. That helps us get the word out. And if you want to help us make more videos like this, click that button. Thank <laughs> you.